Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Army. Just another ultra quick one today because life has once again conspired to rob me of uh, almost all of my recording time. And today we are looking at rockets in air-to-air -air combat. Now I've tried to do this in a couple of videos and it never really worked, but I was using sort of air-to-ground rockets. And um, something I overlooked was that in, I think it's 1.4.3 or 1.4.2 of BD Army, they did actually introduce uh, an air-to-air -air rocket unit, the FFAR uh, rocket pod. So I'm just going to quickly test to see if that does actually have a positive impact on dogfights. I've got some rocket equipped uh, Lynxes, some rocket equipped Redhawks, and yeah, let's go. The competition starts, Ben Kerman comes around hard in his Lynx and goes to, uh, goes to launch his first volley of missiles. So yeah, all I've done with these craft is stick on a couple of rocket pods each. I've disabled their Vulcans from air to air combat and that's it, they might not be the best um, might not be the best balance craft, but yeah, as I said, didn't have a lot of time to uh, set up or record this one. Ben Kerman ably dodges that first volley of missiles coming from the uh, from Red Hawks, launches his own second volley, he is out of Amrams, and now we'll have to switch to the Sidewinders. Um, I was about to say, expecting all these to dodge uh, ably, I'm, I don't think a couple of rocket pods will have imbalanced them that much, um, but yeah, this, it's my third video trying to get this damn thing to work. If this doesn't work, god knows, I might just give up. I might uh, <laughs> have to do a fourth video, although I'll do a lot more testing before I actually uh, actually release that one into the world. How are we doing? Are we into, uh, are we into gun slash rocket range yet? Oh, Ben Kerman goes for the uh, goes for the rocket pod, but, uh, but no cigar. Comes hard around. Now, both these craft are pretty nimble. Ben Kerman, he seems to be having a bit of difficulty getting around as hard as they uh, hard as they normally do, Chortle. Ah, uh, how are we doing? Is anyone managing to line up a shot with any of these sodding rocket pods yet? Anybody? Anybody at all? Anyone? Ben Kerman. Getting very close now. Must be getting very close. <laughs> oh god, it's going to be one of these, isn't it? Hmm. Oh my god, that was close. It might just be hand-to-hand -hand kills today, which wouldn't be a bad thing, to be quite honest. I quite enjoy that. There we go! A whole volley of those rockets, but nothing really doing. This craft does look a little more squirrely than usual. I'm not sure if that's just, as I said, where I put the extra rocket pods on without any thought of uh, rebalancing or retuning. We will have to see. How are the Red Hawks getting on? Oh my god, that was close! That was very close. I mean, they are managing to get some rocket hits. There's still some missiles going back and forth, but it's it's not really... Yeah. It's basically exactly the same thing happening as was happening in the previous Rocket Pod videos. As in, not a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think before these... Um, oh my god, one of the links has got damaged by a Sidewinder, but that's, that's about all that's happened so far. <laughs> Right, let's start seeing if we can actually um, turn some of these Vulcans on. Because otherwise we are just going to be here for an age. So I've turned one Vulcan on on all craft, apart from Josh Kerman's craft, because he's had his guns blown off. So there's been a little bit of damage going back and forth, but I think it's been mostly missiles and, yeah, mm, rockets continuing to be lackluster. And we've started to run out of fuel. Oh my god! Okay. That was actually quite impressive. Although, yeah, every, everybody's just running out of fuel now. So, my third attempt to get air-to-air -air rockets to work has ended yet again in miserable failure. <laughs> Some minor injuries, but nothing really to speak of. And... All but one Lynx is now out of fuel. No, everybody's out of fuel. <laughs> so let this be a lesson, kids. If you're if you want to uh, use air to air rockets, don't. Um, <laughs> that will be all for today. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter. Maybe getting involved with the Discord, Great BD Army, and KSP community on there, and more besides. Um, if you'd like to help support the channel, there are links to the PayPal and the Patreon in the description. All those links in the description. Um, I will be back soon with some more BD Armory. In the meantime, uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.